baby, Dre Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people's champ, to do another reaction. We are back one more again with that brother, Ace Vane, in love with Mary Jane. Oh, rhyme intended on that line, season three, episodes seven and eight. Come on. You dress like Blossom's brother. Bitch, I know you ain't talking. You dress like you shop at Forever 91. Well, you must shop at the same damn store because your outfit look like it's from 1991. Oh, no, nah, they, they two different stores because I was talking about your age, bitch. Highly, Highly. J Rock J -Rock. has come back come to back. you too. You too. You smell what the rock is. What is, is happening in here and in with the million <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here, man. We're about to check out this Ace Vein in love with Mary Jane. No, oh, I'm intending on that line. Season three, episodes seven and eight. Make sure you go back and check out the first six uh, episodes. J-Rock has already reacted to those. They're up right now on the Great Ones channel, okay? Uh, make sure if you're not subscribed to Ace Vane, go give him a uh, subscribe right now, all right? Go to his channel, subscribe to him. Tell him that J-Rock, the YouTube people, champ, excuse me, sent you his way, all right? But we're not going to waste some more time, baby. It's showtime. Hey, this 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 uh this song right here on Spotify. Go check out Ace Vane. It's been a week and this dummy ain't called yet. I'm tired of keeping this bitch heat too much. He'll call eventually, boss. He's got a narrow Shut your dumb ass up. I ain't got time to wait. I got like five more minutes left in my life. I should've listened to my damn self and signed that ransom note. I'm gonna do it my way. Motherfucker just walked up in the house and went to sleep. Like, it's cool. What? What? Watson? That's where you're supposed to be at? They next door. Oh, man. It's four fucking a.m. in the morning. Well, I know what time it is. Half the day gone. The day has not started yet, Aunt May. There's a rooster somewhere hitting the snooze button. If the dame started bringing in here dressed like a Saved by the Bell extra. What you talking about? <laughs> You dress like Blossom's brother. Bitch, I know you ain't talking. You dress like you shop at Forever 91. Well, you must shop at the same damn store because your outfit look like it's from 1991. Oh, no, nah, they two different stores because I was talking about your age, bitch. Hold on. Ain't no motherfucker who took his collar shirt into his jeans to go to bed in slapping no fucking door on me in my house. I'm mad. Go to bed and pass away in your sleep. Nah, you got to pass away in your sleep because I'm about to go get this blizzard and pass your ass some bullets. That's what's about to happen. You about to go out Marvin Gates. Oh, the river, river. No, that motherfucker is laughing. You gonna wake up in Heaven's Gate talking about some West Going on. Don't want it too much. What the fuck wrong with me? Who the fuck calling and interrupting my post and dogs plus? <laughs> Man, with your big ass looking like an elephant, I think you have a memory like one. What the fuck is your president of the United States looking ass talk about? Your bitch. Your wife. Motherfucker, she kidnapped. Shut. I damn so forgot. You know who did it? Motherfucker me! What the fuck? What the fuck you doing cutting up in my bitch? I'ma send her ass back in pieces if you don't get my motherfucking money or skeet rock in the next 24 hours. Oh, uh, you know you got to die, right? And your bitch gonna die with me. Where's your what? My child for the last two weeks. The last two weeks? You haven't been here for six. What the fuck does me being here have to do with me getting paid? Are you fucking serious? Like you want a real answer? I hired you. I hired you for a service, which is photography. When was the last time you photographed something? Then I photographed the bitch who put the gorilla glue in her hair? That was three fucking years ago. Bro, I ain't got no time for this no more. Suck my dick what? from the back. Suck my dick from the front. Suck my shit sideways while humming the melody to genuine's my whole life has changed. Damn it, you know how to play hardball, don't you? All right, I got a job for you. Oscorp is hosting a conference. Oh my god. Cover that, and I got a check for you. Just give me the check. Fuck Either going to I work or work. suck a dick with this check. We we'll set all in the middle with Spider-Man to get the skeet rock activated. Now we got Spider-Man, what the fuck is taking so long? Uh, just, just science stuff with, with the blood, you know? <laughs> oh. Man, with your Russell Crowe coffee table hair having on. You don't have results to show my fat ass in 24 hours. I'm throwing you head first into a wood chipper. Or you can at least excuse me, bro. The fuck can't move your tall ass out the way. Big, tall, stupid ass. The fuck got your knees up to your motherfucking chin? You look stupid out here. Bro, what the fuck you mean I look stupid out here? Where am I supposed to be at? Bro, you tall as fuck, you can headbutt heaven. 
Yo, eight foot tall ass out here trying to sit with regular people. Take take your bitch ass to the WNBA. Yo, I'm a scientist. I run a Nobel Peace Prize. But you chose the wrong career. Big fucking giant ass motherfucker move. Shit. Unfortunately, Mr. Osborne could not be here today. What the fuck? But he has sent a representative of Oscorp to complete the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Herbert Landry. Oh, no, baby. Ah, thank Woo! you, thank you. My Start man. Woo! You look good, baby. Y'all look good. That's what we're gonna be doing later. You look too good. You look good up there, right? That's my man. I'm sorry, baby. Don't go on to listen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this momentous occasion. We at Oscorp are thrilled to have you here as we embark on a journey that will redefine the very fabric of human potential. Is that guy fucking sleep? Hey, guy, are you sleep? Yes, yeah, bitch, ass sleep. What row is that? It's row P. The 14th seat, right? Yeah, it is. Damn, how you so P14. Yo, guy, P14, are you fucking sleep? Huh? Oh, no. Nah. Changing this presentation to fucking sleep, guys? What the fuck? But you see me way back here, it's like 1,200 people in the Well, room. luckily your dumb ass woke up so you can find out the answer. I introduce to you the Genozine Project, the next step in human evolution. Imagine a world where injuries aren't permanent. Imagine a world where death isn't permanent. Imagine a world where you have an erection strong enough to satisfy your wife and a blue gorilla bat stripper at your bachelor party. Not only does it heal you physically, it heals you mentally. You guys remember crack? You remember when Crack first came out? It was a shit, right? Yeah, don't be shy. We all did it. <laughs> Nobody knew it would be sucking dick for it. Nobody knew it would have side effects of sucking dick, right? <laughs> well, this makes you feel like you're on Crack for the first time all the time. Except you don't have to suck dick. It is literally the cure to everything, people. The only problem is it's not FDA approved yet because it hasn't gone through the necessary test. Ah, oh, yada, yada, yada. But guess what? What else wasn't approved by the FDA? Crack. And Crack was great, right? We just said that. So you know what? Fuck those mad fads. Free samples in the lobby for everybody. That's right. And the first 50 people to get a massive erection are invited to the after conference orgy at Oscorp. And we're holding the 2K tournament after the orgy. Is it, wait, is that motherfucker still asleep? Then I guess they went to Oscorp and had the orgy, but I, I think it was all dude. He was talking about anything <laughs> from that story. I want to know why you're in my fucking house. What you mean, how I got in? Because uh, I crawled in. I want to know how, why, when, what, no, what the fuck? Oh, bro, if you're scared because you, you, your wife is here or something, I'm like, you, you don't worry. Your wife told me she a fan, bro. Like, she said I'm her celebrity pass or some shit. Celebrity like, pass? You, you're not a celebrity. Uh, I kind of am. No, you're not. You, you're not even verified on Twitter. That's because I don't want to pay fucking $7 a month. In fact, no celebrities have blue checks on Twitter anymore. If you got a blue check, you're just an asshole. One thing to pop up at my office all the fucking time, but it's, my house is off limits, man. Man, fuck your house. I'll come here if I want to. Did you hear any fucking thing I said about the genocide? Fuck you and fuck the genocide. Get out. You really be talking like you got two hands, bro. What is I'm, wrong with I'm you? so sick of your I shit, I would just man. take your threats better if you had two hands. Speaking of two hands, you could probably get that with the using the genocide. Oh, my God. Fine. Fuck it. Come to my lab tomorrow, but get the fuck out of my house right now. You want me to throw your wife some dick before I leave? Or whatever. Get out! <laughs> Episode 8 right here. She only coming when she has free of mind. This challenge is going to change my life. I am Uatu, also known as the Watcher. For countless eons, I have observed the ever expanding tapestry of realities. As one bound by the sacred oath of non interference. I have always adhered to the principles of observation and impartiality. However, today marks an exception, an extraordinary circumstance where I have felt compelled to break those sacred rules and deliver a message directly to you. Each universe possesses its own distinct set of heroes, villains, and peculiar quirks. But among these realms, there exists one particular corner of existence that could be considered the epitome of cosmic absurdity, the Vainverse. This particular corner of the universe, if it can even be called that, is a relentless assault on the very notion of coherence and rationality. The laws of nature are twisted into an incomprehensible pretzel of absurdity. Logic and reason are thrown out the window, replaced with a cacophony of nonsensical events and mind-boggling plot twists. The inhabitants of this realm seem to revel in their own stupidity, blissfully unaware of the sheer lunacy that permeates their existence. Even I have become stupider as an observer of the vain verse. An entity with a head of colossal proportions, I mean for real, look at my fucking head. Shit looks like it can hold 3,000 brains in a minivan. This shit is big as fuck, bruh. I don't even have a forehead. I have a beforehead. <laughs> you see my head before you see me. It should be impossible for me to become stupid. 
witness my own intellectual regression as a cautionary tale of the dangers inherent in consuming content from this universe. Turn this shit off now. Time to take matters into my own hands. Oh, that was good. What oh, Klaus? Man, how hot can this superhero she be? She easy as fuck. I'm coming to find you, but I'm <laughs> What's up with the genocide example like a hey, being the third leading gynecologist in this area? A gynecologist, that's that's what Tom Cruise is. I have to say I've seen a lot no. of time. this stuff is probably more impressive than any vagina I've seen in Queen. In or own. Take a look. Alright. What the fuck am I looking at? I, I thought you were a scientist. Why the fuck would you think that? I've never no, said I have that. a feeling you're supposed to be a scientist. You must have been to another Spider-Verse or some shit, because I ain't never said that I was no fucking scientist. What's a Spider-Verse? Something I should have been in. Well, if you understand what you're looking at, these cells are the next step. <laughs> yeah. Excuse they, me. They can stop you from being ever getting sick. The cells are constantly regenerating, so they can heal anything. This could even clone somebody. And what I can see, it just needs a way to be stabilized into a linear form so it can bond with the DNA. You don't understand? I don't understand shit you're saying, bro. I just want to know if we can do one thing. Can we bring Mary Jane and her fat eyes back to life? I mean, I have to run a few tests, but I, I think we can. Are you sure? I mean, I, I pulled off crazier stuff. Crazy stuff like what? Clapping? What? I don't know, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Just going <laughs> my mind like that, bro. I, I, I don't really trust you like that because I can't trust motherfuckers who can't be part of a live studio audience. What, Spider-Man? Fuck you. I mean, you have one hand, bro. You can't never applaud nobody, so you give off energy as a hater. You know what? Fuck you. I shouldn't even help Be you. stupid and don't help me. I'll web your ass up to that chair and come back in here with a group of friends. We'll give each other hot fives for hours. Please tell me you made some progress on capturing Spider-Man. I've been trying to look at a few things, but I'm sure I'll catch you. Hey, you. What? Don't bug out. I'm working on a web of strategies. Are you speaking to me in Spider-themed puns? That's quite a pun Oh God, I don't have time for this. Bro, I need to get Spider-Man in 22 hey, hours. don't worry. I'm pun. Oh my god! I'm the knobby. 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 The fuck? Fuck with a table of Oh shit, what the fuck is you doing? Pineapple, pineapple. Where is it? Where is it? Felicia? Because your breath smell like microwave nickels, bitch. Get off here. <laughs> it works. It works. I'm gonna be able to use phrases like on the other hand now. What the hell is your problem? Where's Morbius? Bitch, do a little like I keep up with Ethan Hawk doppelganger. Tell me what to do, I can't find you. Oh, shit. The first thing you need to do is eat a bowl of toothpaste. What the This smell better than your breath. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking watched anyway, huh? Well, I hope you feel good about yourself. Fucking good and stupid. J Rock says this, man. Ace Payne is hilarious, man. This brother, the 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 the, the, the sense of humor he has, the way he comes up with these scripts, man, for these cartoons, the editing. I know this takes a lot of time and tediousness that J Rock knows all about, especially when you're editing uh, your own videos. But J Rock says this. Ace Vane, brother, keep doing your thing. No rhyme intended on that line. You get a salute from J-Rock, all right? Keep it up, keep going, and uh, J-Rock will keep reacting, all right? Now, what say you? Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electric. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, what J-Rock is.